Hello, my name is Cheng. I'm a product marketer with Keysight Technologies. Today, I would like to demonstrate new waveform creation software that operates with several Keysight functions and Pulse waveform generators. I'm going to create complex custom waveform for your own application. This is what Keysight Pulse Wave Waveform Builder Pro looks like when you start it up. You can choose to create a waveform, create a sequence of waveforms, open an existing waveform that you have created, or import a waveform for other software in the CSV files format. We are using Keysight 33500 series function or arbitrary waveform generator. Now, we can set up waveform properties. I will just leave this default at 100 millisecond with a sample rate of 1 mega sample per second that gives us 100 kilo sample of data point to work with. So I hit OK and I can get a scope like display where I can begin creating the waveform. Let's create a little more complex waveform that might be similar to an application of yours. I will select this triple zero waveform creation tool. Suppose you have a device and you are trying to simulate a power up state and a dual state. Let's start with this trapezoid. The first thing I can do with a trapezoid is to say how many cycles. So let's say two cycles. Let's run it for the entire 100 millisecond display that we have. I can set the delay time before I start to power up. Let's set at 10 millisecond. I can change the whole time that we are at full power on the triple zero ship. We will set that to 30% which is 50 milliseconds. I can also change the rise and fall times. Let's have the fall time be shorter than the rise time, say 2.5 millisecond. So now, I have the trapezoid and the ship that models you power on and drill condition and power off. Again, I click OK and I have the trapezoid on the screen. Before we send this to the instrument and look at it on the oscilloscope, let's model a glitch in the dual state. The way we are going to do that is to highlight a few points. We were going to subtract a DC value for the dual voltage and let's have it drop one volt from where the dual is here. Now, in the preview window, it's just DC. So, it's not going to be clear what it will be look like at this point. But we select OK. This is a new window. It's the waveform max window. So this is the selected waveform. This is the operation which is DC. I select OK to that. Now, you can see that I have a glitch of 1 volt drop. That is the drill time on my voltage. So, now I have a waveform that's ready to send to the instrument. I will go to the communication menu again. In this case, I will just send the data to the instrument. I will select send to instrument. And you can see that we have the one word glitch draw out in every waveform on every one cycle. We just finished creating multi-cycle trapezo signals. Hopefully, this is familiar to some of you. Again, thank you for watching.